Greetings! In part 8 of the full video guide for Bevilex mod list for Oblivion, um, we covered Fourth Modifier, Vanilla Combat Enhanced, Lost Spires Better Dungeons, Midas Magic Spells of Orum, Less Annoying Magic Experience and Boss Sorting. Now it's time for one of my favorite mods, a Unique Landscapes Compilation. So, um, the unique landscapes compilation, let's open up the page. It received an important update. It is basically a compilation of uh, mods, numerous mods. Here is the full list with the authors on the main site that is doing very big changes to the landscape of Cyrodiil, uh, covering almost entire Cyrodiil. So after installing this mod, when you venture through the world of Oblivion through Cyrodiil, you will see these additions uh, scattered everywhere and they contribute highly to make the landscapes uh, m more... to give them more uh, variation and uh, make them much more interesting. However, be careful if you have a, a graphic card with two or less gigabytes of uh, VRAM and uh, maybe a CPU um, that is only 3 gigahertz uh, or lower because it also contributes to lowering the performance I also get some minor frame drops, uh, frame drops from time to time because of this mod however if you have a strong enough PC um, it's very very highly recommended so I will update part 9 now um, uh, for, for those who are uh, installing this for the first time you don't need to worry about uh, the part where I will strap down the present installation of unique landscapes I will do it again for you um, to show you how to install it so that the Chorol Hinterland mod does not come with the bug of partially invisible NPCs. So let's start with that. For those who are installing this for the first time, you don't need to do the following uh, steps. I will just strap down, delete the three mods that are building the unique landscapes compilation. I will uninstall them. I will delete them. I've made me... I remember they need to be after the Lost Spires and before the Grass Overhaul. Alright, so now there are no more uh, unique landscapes in my load order, in, in my installers. It's all gone. They are not in the mods. The bashed patch is now red because I deleted them, uninstalled them, so the bashed patch is not uh, correct now. But uh, I will rebuild it in a moment. I will just go to the website. Uh, it's over here, the unique uh, landscapes compilation. So here we are, and there's been an important update to version 2.1.0. So let's go to the files and download this file manually so I have the file already here it's 448 uh, megabytes I will open my installers tab in uh, Vrybash and then I will drag the unique landscapes compilation version 2.1.0 to my installers tab then I will move it up before the Lost Spires. That will be somewhere high in my installer's order. Yeah, Grass Overhaul, here is the Lost Spires. So let's put it in between. Alright, so here's the unique landscapes compilation. And now um, I will not use the wizard this time because I think the wizard has some problems with this version. I will use a screenshot that I have to uh, to get the correct uh, installation configuration. Okay, so here I have my little file 
and I see which files I need to check. They are numbered, so it's easy. I don't check 8. The first one, I check 8 the second one. Then go to 20 and include 20. Then go to 22. And go down to the first uh, to number 90 okay that's how i want it so this is the selection that works very well for me i don't install rolling hills because they have so many invisible walls and it's really a pain for me um, so yeah, I don't install Chorol Hinterland, the better cities version. Instead of that, I choose Chorol Hinterland standard version. And it's all fine. So now I can right click on the um, mod on here in the installers and click on install. That will install the unique landscapes. Next up on my screenshots is the UL Chorol Hinterland. Yes, I want to install U, uh, UL Chorol Hinterland after Unique Landscapes to overwrite them. So I will go to my uh, web browser, I will find Chorol Unique Landscapes Chorol. The websites will be uh, in the description. So I have here Unique Landscapes Chorol Hinterland V2. It's 4 megabytes and uh, um, 831 kilobytes, so uh, almost 5 megs. Download this file V2 manually and you will receive a file UL Chorol Hinterland V2. And it's exactly the size that I see on the website, so it's the right file. So let's drag it to the installers now. Okay, now let's move it up. I want it to be exactly after the Unique Landscapes compilation. Okay, a little more higher. Here it is. So I place it here. It has uh, this ESP. I will right click on it and install. And I'm done with the Chorol Hinterland mod. And uh, lastly, I will open the page with Unique Landscapes Patches. Unique Landscapes Compatibility Patches. The link is also in the video's uh, description. I will go to files and I will download the new version UL compatibility patches compilation Visbane V12. So click on download manually and you shall receive this file over here. UL compatibility patches compilation Visbane V12. That's 37 megabytes. And let's drag them to the installers here to Vrybash. Now move them up first to the correct place. Here it is. I will place it after the UL Chorol Hinterland. And now it's important to get back to my screenshots and make the correct choices for this mod. So First of all, I need to check this and this and that. So it's this and this and that. And now all of them are selected. So let's deselect all. And let's choose only the patches for Lost Spires. Because this is the only mod that I need patches for. So I don't check the Lost Spires Unique Landscapes merged patch because I don't use the merged version. However, I check this three. Lost Spires Dark Forest, Lost Spires Fallen Leaf Everglade. 
and Lost Spire Silverfish Valley patch. So this is my choice and that's the only patches we need from here. Once this is selected and this is selected, right click on the mod and choose install. So we are not using the wizard because I know which selection works fine now. After doing this in the mods uh, section, in the mods tab here, you will have plenty of new mods. We will activate all of them. All of the new ESPs. So you see these are the ESPs from the individual Unique Landscapes mods and these are the patches. Now let's move the bashed patch to the bottom. And now we will do some boss rules. Uh, because when we try to sort the lo load order with boss now, you will see that there are three unrecognized plugins. We will open the edit user rules and we have the ULE stuff over here. These are the patches for the unique landscapes. So I want all of them to be sorted after the unique landscapes ESP. So how do we do it? We open edit user rules and then here is the rule editor. I want this to be sorted after unique landscapes.esp. So let's drag it over here and we make a rule for this ESP here sort item after and we take the unique landscapes and then we click create new rule and we see that the rule is wrong because boss has a problem and it's doing the before instead of the after so let's edit the rule and Let's choose before and save edited rule. So you see this is a bit confusing but when you want to sort this ESP after this you need to use the phrase before here and then boss will do the correct thing. Next up we want create a new rule. Sorry, now I double now I made two of them. So now I clean this editor and take the second uh, Ule uh, Lost Spires patch and I also want to sort it after unique landscapes so I keep before here although it seems to not to make sense but when I create new rule I have now the second Ule thingy after unique landscapes as well and the last one will be Ule Lost Spires Dark Forest. Also after unique landscapes create new rules. So we have three rules now. These rules, um, when I click save and exit now and I run boss again and when I open my uh, Vrybash now I will see that the Ule Lost Spires uh, patches are now sorted after Unique Landscapes ESP. And that's, that was my plan. Now let's close Vrybash and let's close uh, Boss because now I will open my user list uh, TXT. It's in the place where I installed Boss. It's in your boss installation directory under in the subfolder Oblivion. When you open up user list TXT, you will see 
the rules that we've created. So this is the current state of the user list TXT, the free rules for the Lost Spires patches of uh, unique uh, landscapes. Now I want to add further rules. Um, the rules are going to be sorting the unique landscapes and the Lost Spires after Lush and Gaudi and after the Grass Overhaul for compatibility reasons. There is a file on Pastebin, it's uh, this file over here, it contains all the rules and it will also contain those three rules uh, as a result of uh, creating this video. But for now I need to take these uh, rules, we have here the Lush and Gaudi and Grass Overhaul rules. And we also have here the mass outfit redesign uh, rule to sort it after Knight's unofficial patch. So I will now take all of them, copy them. This is the file that is on pastebin, the link is also in the description of the video. So now um, I copied that content and here after doing one space I will paste it in here. So my uh, user list TXT currently will look like this. I will save it and now I will run boss again. And as you can see there are now no um, unrecognized uh, plugins. So everything worked according to plan. Hopefully, let's look at the mods and we have mass route fit redesign sorted after un night's unofficial patch, very good. The ULs, the unique landscapes and the lost spires sorted after grass overhaul and uh, Lush and Gaudi, very good. And finally the UL Lost Spires patches sorted after the Unique Landscapes ESP. So everything was sorted according to my new boss rules. In that case I can now rebuild the bashed patch. Bashed patch rebuild finished. No errors reported. And after installing uh, such uh, mods that make such severe changes to the environment, of course, we will run all the three, excuse me, all the four um, tools for generating a lot LOD, distant terrain. So let's start with uh, test lot generator. The slot generator is finished, so I can move on to Oblivion directory, data, and uh, use the test for LL, high res first. The first uh, generator high res is finished, so I can close the window, run the normal maps. Normal maps is finished, so let's run the last one. Test for QLOT.BAT. And the test for QLOT.BAT also finished. So that's it for the lot generation. The game is ready to be started and tested now.
Hail. Let's hear it. 